Today on Make Save Crate, we're making this rolling easel desk. Hey guys, I'm Corey, this is Make Shape Crate, and we are starting a desk today, specifically for the Rockler Desk Challenge. Now, the desk we're making has to fit under a countertop, so it has to be about 15 inches deep. Right now, we're gonna build some cabinets that need to go along the side. Let's get the cutting down supply wood. Okay, so everything is connected and done. This is what we cut down for the top. But, the more I thought about it, I actually think I need to make, I don't know what you call it. I always call it like a faux top, where it's just something that connects everything and then you'd actually put a top onto it. For that, we need to actually cut this down a couple inches because I made this to the size I need the actual one to be. So the original idea I had to connect this was I was going to pocket hole it in. I think, seeing how this is the faux top, I'm just gonna face screw it. So I'm gonna countersink some holes and get this all connected. Okay, our base is done, with the exception of edge banding and doors and stuff like that. We'll tackle that later. Right now, I want to go ahead and get started on the top. So what we're going to do is we have a piece of 11 and a half and three and a half. We're going to dowel and join these together. Um, this one's a little wonky, but that should be okay. Once we dowel it together, I think it'll be fine. All right, we got the top all glued up. While we're waiting for this to dry, I think we're gonna move on to edge banding. So this is all glued up. Card scraped it so that we got most of the glue off. Next. We have to figure out how to inlay this acrylic. So what we're gonna do is we want to have this kind of go at an angle and we're gonna alcohol the ink the back of this so we can get some cool effects and add some pop to it. So I just need to figure out what angle to do it at. I think actually that's probably pretty good. We had a little bit of a screw up. When I cut this to what should have been the size, it's just a hair off. Like literally just a hair. So, cut a little strip of the same wood, same piece, everything, and we're gonna glue it on. Stakes are made, gotta work around them. So this is what we got going on. We have the top that we've already cut clamped down, okay? Both sides of it, because we cut it. What we're gonna do is we were originally gonna do acrylic in here, but it wasn't the right thickness and right thickness would have been way expensive. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do resin in here. But first, we wanted some channels of other woods 
to go through this. So we're getting ready to draw out some lines and route that out and we'll go from there. Got this all clamped down as good as we can. The reason this is here is just so there's not a break or whatever blowout in between these. Um, this was the cutoff from the end anyway. So we're just gonna cut right across this. Hopefully this works out right and I don't screw this up. Well, screwed that up. I'm gonna pause and figure out how to fix this. All right, so I think this is what we've come up with. I think it's straight enough. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but I am putting a laminate over this. So I can kind of hide some of my crimes then. So I'm gonna just go ahead and glue this in as is, and then hope for the best. not perfect but it's got trim off over here and that's about as good as that's gonna get uh we were going to do a second one but after that fiasco but we are going to have this line continue through the resin so let me trim this off get this all cleaned up and start building the mold to do this. this thing we haven't has, even gotten the resin board yet. This has been kicking our ass to make a mold, <laughs> guys. Like, let me walk you through what we did there. So, we were going to try just to clamp these in. That didn't work. So, we screwed them to the freaking table. Uh, there is uh, packaging tape with uh, paste wax on it on the bottom and on these sides, although I forgot this one. So, it's just paste waxed. And I might need to cut it off. Whatever. This is also screwed in, and all of this is screwed down to the table, or clamped down to the, things to table. <laughs> Good. I, uh, guys, it's noon. Like, <laughs> you would think that this is like midnight, but no. Like, ugh. We still got a poor resin. Yeah, so. Mm. Oh, and look, by the way, Jess is helping. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's time to pour resin. Uh, we're going to do it by weight because we don't have a big enough measuring cup, we realized. We thought we did. This little itty bitty guy came and it was like, oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do it by weight. Luckily, I have a scale. So I'm going to use a solo cup <laughs> and I'm going to place it on my scale and I'm going to just kind of eyeball half and see what that weighs and then do the other half. Brett, torch it. We had to do it in two uh, batches because we didn't have a big enough thing, but first coat is applied. Hopefully we mix it enough and all that good stuff. So this has to cure for, I believe it's six hours, but I'm gonna just double check the instructions because she does better with written instructions than I do. And We'll be back after that. So, for you guys, it's going to be like, time for a second coat. Here we go. Okay, this is set for, well, <laughs> it's not set. It's ready for us to pour the next coat. So, it seems to be hard. I'm not as nervous anymore. <laughs> I really thought we fricked it up. So, <laughs> all right, now I'm going to go ahead. So, we, we've <laughs> done better this time, and we've. Actually figured math. out math and conversions ahead of time because like reasons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you ready? I'm going to pour eight ounces of this one into this. And then you're going to do another eight ounces of the blue one into that. And that should end up with one pound, not one cup. We keep screwing ourselves up because we keep thinking cups because it's liquid, but we're going by weight. So it's pounds or it, for you metric people, we don't know how to do that. 
we American and we don't know how to do that. Nothing against metric. Should have double gloved. <laughs> yep, a little late now. All right, so I got my two mixed. What colors do you want in these? Um, purple and silver. We'll see you guys in our six hours. Okay, it's all stained. Apparently I had a hole in my glove, but it'll be all right. Nothing from soap and water won't fix. Anyway, let this dry. Come back to you in a little while. Folks, I don't know if you can see this, but this is just shy. It needs a, just a little bit over there and not a whole lot over here either. We're gonna f mix like half a batch at a time and fill this up. All right, so we're outside real quick because uh, we got that beautiful resin curing inside and we don't want to introduce any dust into it. So we're gonna be doing some cutting outside. So now that I know what I'm doing, no I don't, I never know what I'm doing. We are going to join up these two boards to make the doors. First, I'm gonna cut off the excess and down up. Cutting glue. Take this to the side so it can dry in the heat. Alright, so the doors are cut. A conversation I had with my sister in law, we decided to dix the orange, orange laminate and we're going to ink or paint or whatever the top wooden part that's not the walnut black. So I thought it'd be cool to add a similar effect to the front doors and instead of inlaying the walnut we're just going to stain it same color as the bottom so i need to draw some lines and get that stain applied I think that was pretty successful, seeing how I wasn't sure how that was gonna turn out. And that's just craft paint. I think a lacquer coat over that, and that'll look amazing. So, let these dry, go from there. Resin's cured though, well, almost. So it's set for another 12 hours or something like that. Stop, lacquer time. Can't see it, it's dark, sorry.
All right, guys, doors are installed along with hardware. That was a pain. I hate little screws. So cured. Now let's try to get this out of the mold. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Jess, come here. I'm working on it. Oh, that's not bad. Well, that's the top. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> it's the bottom. It's okay. There's a lot of plywood stuck to the bottom, but not in the resin. Yeah, that's good. So. I was worried about the resin. I was so scared. I took a big chunk out of the workbench. Oh, no. <laughs> like, look. Like, that's okay, because, I mean, we were getting to the point where we were going to need to replace yeah. the top anyway. That's why we did it the way we did it. By the way, if you have not seen our workbench video, you should go click on that. It should be up here somewhere. Here comes the pup function manager. He wants to come say. Gizzy, Gizzy, did we do a good job? Did we do good work? That was just 60 grit. We got a long way to go. We've done up to 220, about ready to start wet sanding with 400 grit. I've just wet sanded this. 1200 crit and while it's not perfectly clear i'm more than happy with it and i think once we put a clear coat on it, it should be good so we're gonna let this dry a little bit because it is very wet because it was a lot of wet sanding and then we'll come back to it Jimmy was right. Clear coat definitely brought it out. Okay, so while we are waiting for the top to dry, we're gonna figure out how to make that top easel up off of this base. Basic idea is that it will get screwed into this. I got a piano hinge to do that. And then we need to make something back here for it to easel up on. So I have an idea. I know it sounds confusing, but just go with me for a minute. That's well done. Just got delivered tomorrow. Yeah, ready? Yeah. And so what? Ready? Look at the back. Good. 
something I did not think of is a way to hold stuff. But I figured if we're gonna be drawing on it, it's really fun. Yeah, it's really fun. All right, guys, that's how we did it. She seems like she's happy with it. I'm happy with it. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, we'll have something clicked up here for you. Uh, YouTube's going to suggest something for you down there. I'm not sure what it is. Hopefully you like it. And we will see you in the next one.